At this point, when we go from one page to another in our app, we see it just snaps to that page. It shows that page immediately when we press on the appropriate icon button in our navigation bar. However, we can smoothen this effect. We can use page animations and page transitions in order to gradually move from one page to another, which I believe it has a nicer aesthetic feel to it and a more interactive feel, will provide a more interactive feel for our users when they move around our app. So fortunately, now that we've got our navigation set up and our different pages set up, this is very easy to configure. And we're gonna configure it with the help of our page controller that we set up in our home page where our navigation is. All we have to do is when we call this on tap function, when we tap on a different item in our bottom navigation bar, we can use the page controller and instead of using the method jump to page, which just snaps to the page with the page index specified, we can instead use animate to page, just a different method, and it takes a couple more parameters. It takes a duration parameter, meaning how long the duration of our animation should be. So this is a named parameter called duration. And to set a duration, we use the duration class and can provide a number of different values, a number of intervals that you see here, milliseconds, microseconds, seconds, minutes. I'd recommend using milliseconds. It's very easy to provide a period of time less than a second this way. Generally, I use around 200 to 300 milliseconds, which is roughly a fifth of a second or a fourth of a second. And then the other argument is the curve, the so-called easing curve or Bezier curve that determines how the page is going to be animated. So for the curve argument, we can use the curves collection here, the curves package. And if we add a dot, we can see in our suggestions all of the different options that we have. We have a ton of options, all manner of ease in, ease out, elastic ease in, really too many to cover. The way I would pick is to select one. So I have here selected bounce in out and you get a description for it. It's an oscillating curve that first grows and then shrinks in magnitude. And it gives you a really nice way to visualize it by providing a MP4 file. So if we click on that, we're taken to a link that shows us how this curve works. So you can see it bounces at the beginning of the animation and then bounces out at the end. And then on the right hand side, you have this visualization for what it's going to do. For example, when this animation is applied to rotation or translation, translation is what we're going to be using since we're going between pages. And so you can kind of see how that's going to work. In most of my applications, I tend to use the curve ease in out. And you can see what that looks like. So we have this, we ease into the animation and then slowly ease out, we slow down. And once you've selected the animation that you wanna use or test out, we can save our home.dart file. And when we try going from one page to another now, we can see it slides in with our animation that we specified over that duration that we chose. So I think this leads to a nicer effect, a nicer user experience when people are interacting with our app and as I mentioned, be sure to play around with these different curves that are available for the animate to page method.